Hey folks, it's Rob. Welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 13. Here we are in Sweet Haven. And unfortunately, uh, we're under attack by, ba by, by deer. Yes, we're besieged by deer. Maybe Bambi's mom has a little to do with it, but um, we're going to have to figure out a way out of this. Because I... D right, my fault. I thought it was just these two deer. But no. There's these four over here as well. And I'm like, two deer? I can handle two deer. But I didn't know there was like four buddies as well. So, um, we're going to have to figure this out. Um, probably just by murdering them. Uh, as best we can. So I'm going to send some people out to like, you know, fight them off. But at the same time... At the same time, we're just gonna have to um, do what we can with this. Fortunately, we have a warg on our side. All right, Rufus. Now, Rufus, you have very little melee skill. Why don't I just uh, send you over this way? Alright. Okay, Rufus, melee the buck. You give that one a buck, too. And you just don't try to use your bow. <clears throat> Jack's down. That's a problem for Jack. Alright, you go for the buck. The buck stops here, as it were. Right, yeah, you guys just shoot at this thing. In fact, you can stop moving. And just start shooting at that doe right there. <coughs> Dog hauling an egg. Okay. Alright, Lilith. Go in with your knife. In fact, we'll have Rufus going with his fist as well. Because that way no one's going to get shot. Um. We're, at least we're down to does, right? Then we'll get to the fas and the sos, and we'll be... Oh, see, here's one. I mean, we're getting a bit torn up, but at least we're dealing with it. Okay, Lilith. Rescue Jack. Rescue you guys. Oh, there's an R deer over here. Okay. The rest of you guys just take a position here in the middle of the town. Wait for that thing to come back. While we're waiting. A little practice never hurt. Come on! You're a manhunter, you're supposed to come right at me. Alright. Everyone go take a break. Get cleaned up, fix things up. Ah, Poor Slard beat up. Alright, make sure nobody got horrible injuries. You accidentally got a gunshot, did you? Hmm. How about you, Jack? 
No, uh, nothing worse than what's already happening to you. Okay. Like how the ward gets treatment over his jack. <laughs> Yeah, guys, check into bed. You know, you can, like, heal up over bruises pretty easily. Sure, it's taking a while for Lilith to get through this, though. It's just bandages, man. We've done some good for Jack. Oh, one of the... Europa got hurt? Europa got shot twice. Jeez. Way to go, guys. Right, it would be functionally useful to have a turret somewhere for defense. I don't like using lots of turrets, but having one or two can be quite useful. Um... We also need to fortify the town a little, otherwise those manhunters wouldn't have been a problem at all. Um, how? Am, where am I going to put my walls? Right. Well, since this is to be mined out eventually, uh, but I do like this having this little bastion in the middle. I mean, I want to. What I want, feel like, what I feel like I want to do is cut a wall across to here, right? But it should go more like this, and then over here is simple enough. And since it's simple enough, I'm just going to make a wood wall because in the end, it's just to keep people out. It's not. It's not meant to be a be-all, end-all defense. I think we'll put the door in here. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, do it right. Okay. I mean, at least this way we're driving the enemy into directions. Pick those off eventually when we got like a like lesser workload. Now I do need to wall in a bit of pasture, right? Otherwise we can't get any grazing in. And you know I don't want to leave like flammable areas on the far side. I don't know. Jack is in a daze. Well, Jack's having a real hard time with things, so it's fine. <laughs> you know, he's got all kinds of shit going on in his life. It's not easy being Jack. <clears throat> right, so maybe we'll make use of the bits of wall out here. And we'll fence in a fair bit of just forest and grazing area. Probably utilize that as part of my southern defense, but we'll see. Jack, are you naked? Damn it, Jack. No one wants to see your schlong. 
This is in Game of Thrones. Actually, I should just tear this down and then put my defenses where I want it. Uh, claim. Deconstruct. Besides, it'll add to my marble stockpile. Um. Is this slate? We don't get much slate out here. Hmm. That's granite. Granite's nice and all, but. Again, don't have a lot of that kicking around out here. Alright, Lilith's researching at the good bench. Why aren't creatures getting butchered? No, the Blanchard? Really, what? Alright, Blanchard's not a cook. Lilith's not a cook. What are you guys up to? Rufus? You're training animal. Nag, you are cooking a simple meal. I mean, that's fine. That needs done, but at the same time, I got a bunch of corpses sitting in the sun. Right, you drop that off, and now I want you to actually just go and do this, okay? That is easily as important as making simple meals. Uh, trade caravan. Cool. I should probably put in a heater or two just to make sure people are a little happier. Um, how am I fixed for steel? 216? We are going to need more. Let's see how it goes with the trade caravan while they're here. Nag, you're just the person. Who's the person to talk to? There we go. Right, so I can sell them the great bow, but we're kind of using that. Um... They have some herbal medicine for sale. They have a few components for sale. Where am I? Com uh, it says I only have one component. Seriously? What the fuck's going on with that? Okay. So we'll buy components. Um. They have a husky male. They also have trained bears. I can, however, sell off alpaca one. So, yeah, we'll probably do that. Um, continue to train in animals. Do I want our dog? Maybe we can get pups. That'd be nice. We almost got pups last playthrough. Do I feel like buying a spear? No. Do I want to buy any of the herbal medicine? I don't think so. This will do. Right, new dog. Called Colonel. There we go. Europa, Dynamite, and Colonel. Awesome. Okay, Colonel. You get the usual training regime. Right, if I'm seriously that low in components, what the fuck happened? Did my my oh, you pulled an egg into the storage room? How very good of you, Slard. All right, that means you're just about yeah. Okay, so a bit more, and we'll start training you in rescue. You're ready for rescue training. And you're, well, you're a colonel. You just showed up. We haven't started on you yet. Uh, and you're ready for...
for release training. Congratulations. Right, so construction's not happening because we've got too much else to do. Um, how important is it to me that we get carry on with construction? My dogs are handling a lot of the internal hauling, which is cool, you know? Um, anything that's in the home region, basically, I'm laying the dogs at. Um, now, we did get a little bit of the construction done. Hmm. Looks like Jack's enjoying the chess game. And he's no longer in trouble where he's back in clothes. Awesome. Way to go, Jack. Where's your bow? We gotta get that back out for you. Uh, before you go to bed, man, rearm yourself. I never start. Oh no, I did start growing hops. Did I put in a bill for making beer? Yes, I did. Okay. Did I restrict the chickens out of here? First off, hens are restricted to animal area one, but no, I did. I left that open. Okay, so we should basically clear that out. That's no longer a valid area for them to be in. And I should expand the allowed area a little to accommodate the new wall plan. Deconstruction is a time-consuming construction job, I guess. Got plenty of meat. Don't have to kill anything I don't want to. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm really just trying to avoid issuing more instructions right now, so I'm not oh, continuing to pile work in on top in front of work I want done. Looks like the dogs are just hanging out there, and Martinez finished tearing down that marble. Okay, what you off to do now, man? You're off to build walls. Okay. Wood walls do go up like lickety split. Uh, after constru constructing one tiny bit of wall, he's off to play chess by himself. It's very lonesome being Martinez. Um, I'm guessing he's uh, an introvert. <laughs> the traders are leaving. Taking Alpaca 1 with them. Not sure what happened there with the formation. Let's see, we got some more deer down here. Keeping an eye out for suitable animals for training. I mean, the buffalo are nice. But I'll pack a tame up real easy. <laughs> and then, uh, as you can see, we can sell them off. There's a bear to watch out for. Uh, right now, there's no critters near my near my farm, so that's good. Did we finish researching Devil Strand, or are we still working on that? We finished Devil Strand. Okay, so I should really plant some. Um, We'll 
use this spot here. And actually, this should be a food area because honestly, it's in the middle of the, t of the colony. And if I use it for Devil Strand, I won't. I'm going to get a harvest like it's going to be a long time before we get anything out of it. Um, so I'm going to plant what? I'll plant more potatoes and right the devil strand we'll plant down this way I think mm. and it just it has to be accessible but like just like rarely and you know I prefer it to not be trashed by enemies but at the same time it's not that important now we do have this burn zone over here there great big plot of it right Come on, get a muffalo. You can do this. Alright, the hospital bed's finished. Uh, I want a fire foam popper, because I actually think we might actually use one for a change. Um, but I do want the hospital bed. Now, where am I going to... Hospital. That's the next project. Alright. Let them do some of the projects I've told them to do. Now, think. Where am I going to put a hospital? I'm guessing over here. Relatively sheltered, protected area. Fairly central, but not like in the uh, not like up front in the combat area. Yeah. Um, plus, it's not a growing area. I can definitely build here. Right. Well, I'm gonna want to build it out of stone because I don't hate the fire for the hospital to burn. Uh, sandstone it'll be. Should I just put it on the back of this, like, set of houses? No, uh, that's just Jack. Jack's always needing treatment. Uh, yes, I will, because then I can vent through and we can use that to support these. Okay. So... Put a door here so you can get in, and our door on this side so you can go through. Um, have a decent sized hospital. The tube TV, right, <clears throat> is part of the basis of the planning. Yeah, so I could have a bank of beds there, and a bank of beds there eventually. And that works for me. <clears throat> Alright. Now I forget. Was I gonna have a... Yeah, I was gonna have the wall on the outside. Okay, right. like that, right? Um, gonna need to carve out a bit for the cooler. Because, you know, they're stuck in the hospital, no point in not having a co cooler there. Um, wooden doors. And we'll leave the rest of the construction until we actually have some fabrication uh, uh, walls up. You know, it's a uh, wait on the rest of it. But 
but yeah, I can put through vents basically here. And then I can cool and heat the whole thing as a unit. Now where would I put a turret? Looks like the devil's train is getting put in. Okay. We have our new potato field. Chickens are out for a stroll. Wood construction may be held up because of lack of wood resource, that's certainly true. Um, Alright, a few from the center of town. Some of this over by my Devil Strand, sure, cut that back. How about near my walls? Just to keep the fire away. Alright. There you go, guys. Plenty of trees to chop. Chop, chop. Steel hospital bed, our first one. So this would be like the first placement. And it'd be one, two, and three. Yeah, that's how the idea is. Now I'm going to leave the rest of the steel, I think, for now. I'd rather get some of the <clears throat> harder to obtain steel. because right now we're not inhibited in our movement. And this deal might become a godsend at some point, like if I'm under some kind of weird siege. Doors have gone on. It's got a cooler. I'm going to switch that off for now. It's got a nice uh, sandstone tile floor to lead up to it. Town's coming along. Yeah, again, don't want a wood floor because wood burns and. Nothing like a burning hospital to ruin your day. So, um, <clears throat> the multi analyzer needs gold. Uh, geothermal power could be something we could look into. Machining, also useful. Um, the IEDs really should be after machining because you need artillery shells to really make these work. Uh, smelting would allow me to convert slag. Uh, 
at the cost of a lot of a lot of power, and I don't uh, without geothermal power, that's not worth going into right now. Same for the hydroponics. Colored lights don't really do anything, which is why I almost never do them right away. But what the hell? Let's do it. Um, I think holds things up. I see you eyeing up my devil strand, Mr. Turtle. Don't you eat my devil strand, Mr. Turtle. Man, you're getting started on it. It's good. I guess. I'll put a door there and a door there for convenience. I mean, so far I'm fortifying against the beach which isn't exactly the angle of attack I would expect but uh, it's the easiest section to fortify so it's a start um, and I feel like I'm neglecting the base because the base is fucking filthy uh, in fact it's to the point where I think I'm gonna actually take somebody off a of hauling Blanchard I'm taking you off a of hauling I'm gonna have you clean whenever you're free and uh... Yeah, that, that'll help. Jack should also be cleaning, because he doesn't haul. Of course, Jack's in miserable shape, so, I mean, what are you going to do? I see Martina's having a beer. A bit early for a night owl like you be having a beer, mate. Okay, so this gets us that. We're going to start by doing the floor as cheaply as possible by smoothing out the stone. And I will put in marble tile in spaces that we can't smooth over. Will have the added advantage of keeping, say, like squirrels and other random animals from eating my crops, so that's good. colored lights we don't need. Well, let's work on... actually, let's work on mortars, because I could conceivably use those eventually. They're a nice bit of defense that doesn't actually take a component, so... How goes the training as a lard? 
Well, we've actually finished haul training. Right, rescue training's next. Uh, let's see. Did we mine that out? Yep, we did. So all that steel's just sitting open waiting for use. That's good. Um, hmm. Winter has begun. It's still volcanic winter, so we're going to get... Yeah, it's 30... It's freezing. Um, I'm going to put through an emergency harvest, I think. But that'll be for next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day, folks. Goodbye.